everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see today is another eating mukbang video with a book tag. So I'm going to be doing the Gilmore Girls book tag while I eat some pancakes. I figured I've seen the girls eat pancakes a lot because they go to Luke's diner for breakfast and lunch and every other meal and they do tend to enjoy their pancakes so I figured pancakes would be a good option for this tag and I'm going to combine it with some Nutella because let's face it if they get the chance they would probably have Nutella with anything so I feel like they would enjoy that so I'm going to be having <laughs> some Nutella pancakes with and I've got some banana and I've got some strawberry and blueberries plus I also have a coffee of course because it's not Gilmore Girls without coffee so I've got it in my little more issues than Vogue mug and it's just a mocha I believe so I didn't have any caramel latte left but it's a mocha I'm slowly easing my way back into drinking coffee it's a start <laughs> okay so so this tag is obviously, um, it's, I think it's just a bunch of Gilmore Girls characters with book related uh, questions with it. So, but anyway, let's just, um, let's get these pancakes ready because I am super excited. I love Nutella on pancakes. I love Nutella on pretty much everything, but Nutella pancakes are the bomb. <laughs> I mean, I have a massive sweet tooth, so anything chocolatey, I'm a sucker for. Yes. It's probably going to be ridiculously messy, but I don't care because it's going to be delicious. Mm-hmm. And you gotta balance it out with the fruit. Alright. So the first question is Lorelei, a character with a witty or sarcastic sense of humor. There's definitely a couple characters that fall under this question for me. Um I think the first person who comes to mind would be Nikolai Lansov from um, the Grishaverse, the Shadow and Bone Trilogy, and uh, King of Scars. I do feel like in King of Scars he did lose a lot of his sarcasm and wittiness but he's definitely one of those characters that started out as sarcastic and witty i would also have to say thorn from the lunar chronicles series he is fantastic by far one of my favorite characters that's all i can think of at the top of my head i mean thorn is always the one that comes to mind whenever i think of witty characters so yeah, I think that's all I can think of at the moment. I feel like it's all the YA ones and some romance ones where they have a witty and sarcastic character. That just seems like the trait for a normal YA novel. <laughs> but I think that's it that I can think of now. Um, okay. Next question is Rory. A favorite classic I mean this is pretty obvious if you know me and you've seen my previous videos and what I've talked about but Pride and Prejudice is my all-time favorite classic I absolutely adore it these are good pancakes Mm. 
some more Nutella on there. Um, but yeah, so Pride and Prejudice is one of my favourite, favourite, all-time favourite classics. But I also love Old Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. That is one of a more recent classic that I've read. And I love that one. That one's like the classic... Great American novel type story. And I really enjoy that one. So I think, yeah, Pride and Prejudice and Old Mice and Men are definitely my favourite classics. Pride and Prejudice because it has a trope that I really enjoy which is like I guess the enemies to lovers hate to love type thing if you haven't read Of Mice and Men I highly recommend it it seems like not much happens, but honestly, it's crazy within the last like 50 odd pages. It's a very emotional story, but one that I think everyone should give a chance at least some point. Next question. The next one is Luke, a book you secretly love but are afraid to admit. I honestly hate the idea of like, shameful reading because like you shouldn't judge somebody on what they like to read what they like to watch what they like to listen to that sort of thing and i think it's unfair to judge someone on liking a book that isn't generally a book that's going to be well liked like I'm not going to judge people for liking Twilight because we all liked Twilight at one stage most of us like Twilight at one stage and I'm not going to judge people for liking books that I didn't necessarily enjoy myself because that's not fair everyone has different reading tastes everyone likes different things so there's not really a book that I'm ashamed to read but just to answer this question, I would probably say that <clears throat> a lot of the time people judge people for reading YA or like smutty novels because you know when you're talking about smut, people are like, oh that's literally just porn, you know, what's good about that? You're not reading anything like worth reading. And I guess with young adult, like if you're not, you know, in your teens, it doesn't count if you're reading YA because like you should only read that when you're a teenager. Same with middle grade, you should only read middle grade when you're a kid. Like, I hate that stigma. So I'm just like, no. I'm going to read what I want to read. And no one is going to judge me for my reading taste. So to answer that question, I'm not going to secretly love a book that I'm ashamed to admit that I love. Because I'll talk about books no matter what. It doesn't matter what the genre is. It doesn't matter what the book is. I'm going to love it and I'm not going to be ashamed about it. <laughs> I probably went a little bit too long on that answer, but who cares? <laughs> Um, the next question is Lane, a musical character. I don't really have any that sort of come to mind, I don't think. I read, I think it was Rumi's by Christina Lauren. And because I'm so forgetful with names, I can't remember the main guy's name, but um, he's Irish and he's like a guitar player. Um, He's a pretty musical character, obviously, because he's a guitar player. I think he's a guitar player, from memory. Yeah. But he's the only one I can sort of think of. Um, and also, uh, from The Silent Waters, the main guy in that is also a musical character. And I cannot remember either of their names, because I am hopeless with names. What the hell? But, you know, <laughs> those two books are the ones that come to mind when I think of musical characters. 
Next question is Dean. Your first book love or a character you first loved? Um, I read books a lot when I was younger, but I don't think I ever really got like the romantic type feelings for a character until I read Twilight. And then I just fell in love with Edward. I mean, I don't care about him now, <laughs> but he was definitely my first character that I really loved, that I felt actually lovesick for. Like, I don't know what it was about it, but I think it was just like that first type of romance read that I just, I loved it so much. And also, It Had to Be You by Stephanie Doyen. One of my favourite books. Typical classic teenage romance. And one that I will reread over and over because I love it so, so very much. But that would be another one, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting full now. <laughs> Next question is Suki. A book you've devoured. Um... I think when I first read the Fallen Kingdom series, I binge read that so hard. <laughs> like, it was one of those series where I didn't want to take a break. I wanted to read the whole thing. Because when I read series, generally I like to take a break in between the books just to clear my head, cleanse my palate, and then go back to it. So I don't get bored of it. So Following Kingdoms was definitely one of those ones that I really wanted to keep reading because it was just so good. I mean, it's so cheesy, but it was so good. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another one that I sort of devoured really quickly. Probably Punk 57 as well. That's one of my favorites with the Cinderella trope. It's a kind of bully romance, but it's really, really good. Really emotional and powerful and... I read that very, very quickly. It was very easy to get into. But yeah. The next one is Jess, a book you love. One of my all-time favourite books is The Book Thief. Because um, if you don't know, I absolutely love historical fiction. And I really like reading books about World War II. For some reason. Oh, do you guys like my shirt? It has cats on it. <laughs> but yeah, The Book Thief is definitely one of my top favourite books. Next question is Miss Patty. A book that was ruined by the hype. That could be a lot of books. <laughs> um, but I reckon, I don't know. There's been a couple. Maybe The Cruel Prince. Because like, I've heard so many amazing things about that series. And so many people love it. And I read it and I was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> like, it was okay. And I thought I really enjoyed it. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, no, this was actually pretty shit. <laughs> so I really don't like that and I feel like a lot of that was the hype. Then we have Emily, an expensive book. My most expensive book to date is a dictionary. <laughs> I got it for my birthday a couple of years ago and I absolutely love it. Because for some reason, I like collecting dictionaries. I don't know why. But I just, I don't know. I just like having dictionaries there for some reason. But. That would be my most expensive book. I think it was about 200 or so. I think around about that. Between like 150 and 200. And it's a two part, two volume dictionary. And it's awesome. It's so cool. I get it down, but it's like right at the top of my bookshelf and it's super heavy. So I'm not going to get it down. <laughs> but yes, I, I had to have it. So Brad got it for me for my birthday a couple years ago. And the last question is Paris, an uptight character. Um, There's none really that come to mind that are really super uptight. Maybe like Cleo from Falling Kingdom series. Maybe Zoya from the Shadow and Bone trilogy. But yeah, none no one else is really coming to mind. Maybe also uh Olive from the Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. 
she was pretty uptight from memory. Um, I think that's it. I think that's all that I can think of for an uptight character. Well, I think I'm done. <laughs> I know it doesn't look like I ate much, but I did. There was like five pancakes on here and I was eating like a stack. I think it's probably about time that I tag some people. I guess if you want to do this tag, go for it. I'm going to tag Cole through the pages because she's a sweetheart. I'm going to tag Not So Secret Bookaholic and Paige from Pages with Paige and also Shah from Thoroughly Enjoyed Books. So I tag you guys and anyone else who wants to do this. If you've already done it, don't worry about it. If you don't watch Gilmore Girls, don't worry about it. But yeah, and also you don't have to do it eating like I have. That was just, that's just my thing at the moment, doing book tags and eating at the same time. And this was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed doing this. I've been wanting to do this tag for ages and it just took me a while to work out what I wanted to eat while I did the tag, but it has been fun. So like I said, if you want to do this tag, go nuts, even if I haven't tagged you. And yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you could sit down and have a bit of breakfast as well with me, because why not? And um, yeah. Happy reading. I will see you in the next video. Bye.